Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is part two of drawing in this 3D effect. And I and you could start off making this any size. I re didn't realize it was so big. But I rounded it off and I made it 8.5 tall and 2.75 wide. And it doesn't really matter when you reduce it. The uh, colors still say true. The blend. And you can see it's still a 3D pattern. So I like drawing a little bit bigger. And then you can always reduce it after you make your copies. But if you make it a, a roundable number, so half of 2.75 is 1.37. So we're going to change it to 1.375. We're going to control and make a duplicate and move it over. Now you're going to wonder that doesn't look right. Well, half of the 8.5 is 4.25. And we're going to move it down. And now those two uh, diamonds are perfectly spaced. And then you would do basically the same thing with this. Now it is 12.75. Uh, and you would just keep splitting things in half and, and moving them down. Or you could control G and make a group of that. And then control D and make a duplicate of it. And you can manually move it down and get it close to that other pattern. And let's just kind of zoom in here. And it would be a lot better to do it mathematically. But you could do it manually. And we're going to change our distance to, let's say, 0.1 right now. And we're going to just cursor it over. And as long as you get rid of that line... That's why I said it would be a little better to do this mathematically. And then you would just need to keep doing that until you get a pretty long pattern. And I'm actually way too big right now. I'll be way off the screen. But once you get it done, and then you could very easily control G and make a group of this. And this is going to take some time. I'm not going to try to pull your wool over your eyes and think it's easy. Well, let's zoom in here. Because of the fact that you can't do it normally, like a normal movement, let's go control D and make a duplicate of it. And let's move that duplicate out. Normally, you could grab that node right there and click it to that node. And it did work. So let's uh, call that good. Now, it would be nice if you could control D again and it would do that same movement. But you, you moved it manually. But you could take that node right there and click it till it snaps to that node. So it is working. I didn't think it was going to work because it's really kind of fuzzy. And you would just keep doing that until you have enough copies to make it big enough. And there's probably a good way to do this with step and repeat. And I might make a second video on that. And then once you got that, you could... You know, do it another couple of times and then group all this, control G, control D and make a duplicate. And the computer, at least this laptop, this is such a complex file, I guess, is what it is. It's having trouble keeping up. And then you would want to zoom in. And I am going to make another video and try to figure out how to make this a little easier. But you could take that node right there and have it click to that node because you really want to be pretty close perfect wise and see we're not so let's try nudging it over and we must just not see on one of them we're a little bit off because we got a little space right there where we shouldn't have let's go up one and over and over one more time and that's pretty good because, to I me, mean, the 3D pattern is going to be, and you're almost there. You know, I would maybe, let's do Control G and group it, Control D and duplicate it, and see how the computer's having a little bit of trouble. That's a lot of, a lot of graphics going on here. And then you can move your duplicate out of the way. 
and do the same thing and then you could zoom in grab your second one grab that node right there and move it to that node and it'd be a lot better to do this probably mathematically and I'm going to try to figure out a way to do it with the step and repeat so we're really there and there's a lot you could do with this you would probably need to do it quite a few more times because we're going to reduce this to quite a bit smaller because the smaller pattern and you can in this picture you can really see the 3d effect and then let's just do one letter let's do the letter of or number three or 3d and you would want a pretty thick font let's make that bigger let's go and make it aerial black see the computer's having a lot of trouble especially this one if you have a newer more ram maybe more you know faster processor it's really affecting the, the the computer and then make it aerial black there we go and then left click right click I'm going to click black and what you have is you now have a vessel to power clip into and when you ever you power clip something you you're made you've got it's got to be a group so control G to group that together go to effects and I'll go to range power clip place inside frame and there is your 3D letter 3. So give that a shot. Try that out. And see I'm a little bit off on that side. And you can edit your power clip. And move that over where it would fit. Or just make your, you need more graphics. Now, a word of warning. If you're going to do this on multiple letters. Uh, make you a copy of your pattern first before you use it because after you use it it's gone anyway I hope that helped a little bit and see now we're into edit mode so we could take our graphic and move it over just a little bit to get all that three in there and just remember the uh, and you could actually stretch your graphic um, but my computers have a little hard time keeping up with this file And we're a little bit off still on here, but you could you could stretch out your graphic, make it set. So what I'm saying is make you a copy of that drawing, because once you do that, the drawing's gone and you're and you're stuck. So definitely make a copy of your pattern. But that will engrave and also you need to engrave it under 3D. And I think I made a video the other day on how to do that. Go to Go to your print driver, change to your printer, go to preferences, and go to advanced. And right here, you need to change it to 3D. It, I actually tried it in the shop while ago, and it actually, it, what it does, it engraves the black a little deeper. And it doesn't quite look as good as 3D. So if you go 3D and then you go OK, and then you can set your preferences and just raster it at 50 50 or 100 power at 80 speed or whatever. Try out different scenarios. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.